leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions, dude. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need advice? Swear it's good. Good night. What am I fighting for? So turn your device, pick up the phone, and leave a message for the new crowd. Ah, yes, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark. I am your beloved sacred host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. And Cameron. And we have a guest on After Dark and on Nude Clan this week. A for Extreme, the man behind the intro. The man, intro what queer sang heard. that song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I'm pretty positive, and you can confirm this finally. Every one of the voice clips is Joe. Yeah, it is Joe. Yeah, see? Yeah. He's the queer who sang that song. Exactly, yeah. He just didn't know he was singing it. No, he, he learned how to do death metal growls and, uh, yeah. Sing us a song, You're the Gay Man. Sing us a song <laughs> tonight. <laughs> We're all in the mood for a melody. You got us feeling the all right. Cometh. Beep, 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 they come to the bar and they ask me for chicken and I, then they call me a racist yeah <laughs> and it's fried and it's baked and I know which one's better <laughs> I don't know I, I, wow. but they tried to get me you fired know. yeah just so he could steal some <laughs> yeah, ravioli yeah so he could steal some shit <laughs> that's so good god I love that I love the ending to that story it's like he got <laughs> kicked out because he was trying to steal stuff <laughs> like who's the Who's the racist now, huh? Almost like stereotypes exist for a reason. Exactly. It's Jesus. like, God, you are like, just get out. Just get the fuck out. So anyway, we do have a couple of Skype calls, uh, a good. couple of voicemails this episode, so I'm excited to get into those. Uh, our guest here, for some reason, Skype just like, it doesn't like functioning. <laughs> properly so he won't be able to hear what the call is but this is kind of where we just get to we can either fuck with him or we can just revise the call i love how you mentioned that right now when he's on well i mean he'll have to decide you know well i'm not gonna know so it's like i'm just going by whatever you guys are gonna tell me yeah yeah we'll let you explain your answer first and then we'll just start talking about something completely different <laughs> but uh let's see what we got on yeah, first step. Hey, guys. So I got a uh, situation. In my neighborhood, I was driving, and I rubbed up against the car with my car that was parked on the street. It happened to be one of my neighbors. Um, so I didn't want to get the insurance involved. He came out. He's a nice guy. So I offered to give him $500 to fix his car so we didn't have to get the insurance involved or anything to happen. Well, he's been parking his car in the garage, so I hadn't really noticed it. But about a month later... So this has been a month later. Um, I noticed he still has the dent in his car. So he never used my money to get the car fixed. Um, should I call him out on it? Or once I give him the money, he could do whatever he wants with it. Or is he obligated to use that money to fix his car? Because that's the reason I gave it to him. Interested to hear what you guys have to say about that. All right. So we have a guy who ran into another guy's car. Dented a his bit, neighbor's car. Dented the car. Gave the guy 500 bucks because he didn't want to get insurance involved. And the guy didn't fix the dent in his car. <laughs> and he's saying, should he call him out because he didn't use the money to fix the car or not? And I think you gave him $500. There's nothing there that says he has to use it to fix his car. Yeah, it's basically hush money at that point. Yeah. So he can do with, that, with it what he will. What do you think, uh, what do you think, gay for? I mean, there was no written agreement that that $500 had to be spent on the car. And if this guy's willing to live with his car looking like shit and have 500 extra dollars in the bank, I don't see why he shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's his choice, his car. Um, 
Just be glad insurance was involved. Yeah. I, I you basically think, paid to have your insurance premium not go up. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I would give him shit about it, but I wouldn't actually expect Depending on him. the relationship with the neighbor. Yeah, I'd be. If it was like a neighbor that's like your bros with, you know, like occasionally you come over and you tap his wife kind of a thing. Like, <laughs> and then I'd be like, what you know, the fuck, man? Yeah, as neighbors do. Yeah, as neighbors do. Um, I would probably go over and I'd probably give him shit about it, but I don't think, I mean, the whole point of you not getting insurance involved was to not raise your premium. And if you felt like 500 bucks was adequate for what you did, I mean, I'd probably just leave it. Honestly. I mean, it's like, like a for extreme said, he didn't have any sort of obligation to actually use the money to fix it. And maybe, you know, maybe he needed the money for something else. No, obviously. I mean, I don't know if I would. Somebody gave me cash. I don't know if I would fix mine right away. I don't know, though. Depends on how bad the dent is, too. Yeah. If it's not noticeable or even that bad, then maybe he just doesn't care. Now, maybe what this guy should do is he should I'm set it up close so... To it. No, you're problem? not, Craig. I can see the fucking lines on the thing, and when you're talking and it's twice. Fifth, you see how fucking close I am? This yeah. is how fucking close I am. I see how close there's you not, are There's not any now. fucking closer I can be without no, fucking I know. having the thing halfway down my throat. But you weren't there. Yes, is what I I'm was. Saying. No, you weren't. I was right fucking here. No, and you're now louder because you're talking louder. But yeah, because I'm talking louder, but that's because I was also right fucking here. Now, you are, Craig, you are quiet, Craig. Just speak a little bit louder. That's yeah. all. That, do, you, do, you, do you know why we have the headphones, Craig? I it's can not hear myself decor. fine. I can hear whatever, yeah, you can whatever hear, the quietness you think you're hearing. You, it's not there. You can hear you fine because it's coming out of your fucking mouth, Craig. Yeah, I and because I got the fucking right headphone, now, it, I got the, the headphones podcast. too. I can hear how loud I am, piece of shit. Maybe you should hear a little bit better then. No. How about that? I have better hearing than you. I don't fucking think you do. If I you do. Think you're I had a fucking fine. hearing test. I, oh, oh I, you got a test? Yeah, I have to take oh. a test every fucking like six months <laughs> at my job. Oh, yeah, that sounds like you got great hearing if you got to take a hearing test every six it's months. It's because there's a possibility of hearing loss, but yeah. Yeah, well... What about brain loss? So what loss? I ultimately think this guy should do <laughs> is set it up so his car is in a position where the other guy accidentally dents his car. Like, make it so <laughs> it's Why very likely for that driveway? to happen. <laughs> then when that guy dents his car, he asks for the $500 back so they don't have to get the insurance involved. But instead of spending it on the car dent he should spend that five hundred dollars on like an htc vive or an oculus rift and then invite that guy over and then put him in the oculus rift and then show him a virtual world where neither of their cars have been dented <laughs> because they either spent the money to fix the dents or the accidents never happened <laughs> or, or they spent the money on the illusion that none of the cars have been dented <laughs> yeah yeah because that's kind of what this guy's already doing now yeah yeah pretty much yeah that's a good that's a good resolution. Like, look how awesome this world is where we have perfect cars. And then he's like, now load up Hatsune Miku porn.exe. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, you're, and then you are the bro neighbor, even if you weren't before. <laughs> Why fuck my wife when you can fuck this fake Japanese idol? <laughs> That's a great question. It's one for, the, one for the ages, for sure. All right, let's see what else we have on line, <clears throat> line two here. Uh, you need people calling in. You need questions. That's good. Uh, I'm a little almost offended by not calling though, because I know if I don't, then twice during double strand, like you did last week. Um, and being kind of conservative, a little bit, it's kind of music to my ears. I mean, obviously, it's super frustrating. You know how much. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a log one. <laughs> This may be the greatest question we've ever received. And for, like, deeper discounts. Now, obviously, end of last year, kind of exception. Fallout 76 being, like, utter trash, $20 <laughs> now. And 
um, that also applied, kind of shipping incomplete. Also got a discount quickly. But even then, like, that's the truth. Like, uh, well reviewed. <laughs> came out with, so, like, that started like half off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did this guy call in like on his toaster. seven tunnels? No, he he's <laughs> he called in his fucking his his fallout bunk. <laughs> <It's backyard. laughs> yeah, that's what do you think that means? I mean, it's good for us. <laughs> what do you what do you think that means, guy? That is so perfect. Well, I mean, clearly, clearly it means that the world will end in eight years, so nothing matters anyways. Uh, so that one, A4, uh, you are about as clued in as we are. Clued in as we are, yeah. It's, it was nothing but just like cutting in and out. There was some Fallout 76, some, some Battlefield 5 shipping in complete talk, and then just... Garble, garble. <laughs> and then what do you guys think? <laughs> I love that that made it through. That's so good. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I'm glad you enjoy the the rage rants that I, I do when we run out of stuff to talk about on here. I always, I'm always kind of worried. And I'm like, ah, maybe that one was too much. And then people don't care. So well, That's because I've heard it like. 20 times before but it just you rant about like one thing and that's it yeah well there's it's just the post office now that's like the only thing there's no that's more there's no more now. yeah there's no more costco eggs or, or the I, uh, i've already resolved the, everything the, else the, the, the his, neighbor that was giving you troubles his world has shrunk to the mail room and then in the mail room his is his world he's gone postal inside yeah. it kind of has yeah there's not Welcome really to Nude Clan After Dark, the ultimate postal service podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ultimate rage podcast. Going postal with Caleb Schweiss. <laughs> New in the mail room. This week. If you if you don't start a podcast called Going Postal with Caleb Schweiss, you are missing a huge opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> or at least renaming Getting Fat to that. And it's like all it is is just Schweiss's thoughts on the fucking U.S. Postal Service. <laughs> yeah. It's just Schweiss <laughs> ranting in a windowless room for two hours every week. <laughs> yeah, with a tin hat on. <laughs> they can't know I'm doing this show. It's called Going Postal with Caleb Schweiss. <laughs> I'm a federal employee, so they can just search my fucking name and find it, but they can't know. <laughs> they won't know if I got the tinfoil on. You I are a federal can't employee. Read your thoughts. It means yeah. your wages online. Uh, I think it tells you by base, yeah. Mm. But it's not accurate. I mean, I make way more than what it says. <laughs> that would be if they were and competent. with all the overtime I do. Yeah, wait. <laughs> that would be if they were competent and hired me for 40 hours a week, but... They don't, which I love, but, you know, no complaints there. And you wonder why your world has shrunk, because that's all you have now. It's just the postal office. Yeah, it feels that way. Uh, anyway, I think the guy might have been getting at, like... I, them shipping I out incomplete yeah. games. And then the, there was, charging, the thoughts were all over there, but yeah. I, yeah, yeah, something along those lines. Charging full price for a game they know isn't complete. Um, and I, I, I kind of want to talk about our experiences on getting <laughs> gypped on pre-orders. I know we had an episode on pre-orders and like kind of the culture and the ideas behind that. Yeah. We can sort of revisit that a little bit. Um, have you guys pre-ordered anything since we had that episode? It was like nope. four or five months ago. No. You didn't pre-order DMC5, Craig? No. I got it like when it came out, like that day. Yeah. There, there has to be the one thing I'm excited about again, but unfortunately, nothing can excite my soul after Fallout 76. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've really... I mean, I, I've just randomly bought full-price games like Craig did with DMC5. But um, I haven't pre-ordered anything. So pre-order versus being able to pre-order something with a pre-order bonus, like a $100 game that comes with extra downloadable content or a fancy little statue you put a garter on. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> that garter is eating Warrior of Light alive, by the way. 
Yeah, I wasn't just saying. Just like, choking him out. I'm, I'm looking at a statue with a garter on it right now, and I know no, that's not Warrior of Light. I know that's who's that's the dude from. Uh, <laughs> What, what, that's what 14, is that expansion? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not just any Storm old garter. Blood. That's that's Sarah's garter from the Sarah I, Cody Chronicles. I forgot you were talking about a real garter for a second. I thought he was. I was like, oh, is Caleb buying these fucking anime figurines where they come with like the removable <laughs> fucking clothing bits? <laughs> <laughs> Warrior of Light wearing a tiny little plastic garter would be terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I want Sh- you to pull it Sh- off Weiss with your teeth, Gets Cecil. like a, an actual fucking warrior of light now, and then gets like a little comes plastic with a, garter. Comes with a companion statue that that works like a nutcracker, so it can grip its teeth on that garter and pull it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the garter remover set now in uh, stores. Uh, I don't know. I. It's kind of hard to decide what the fuck this guy was talking about, though. Um, I I think we got the gist of it. I mean, it's annoying. Uh, to I think we should. We missed, uh, so there could be like. I think we should uh, re-answer him in kind. Yeah, and just I, be like, you know what I think is, <laughs> and then you should. Well, just, my you my know, advice, let having me know, not heard the question, let me know how you at all, feel about just, it. I would say, don't trust the banks, and uh, you know, <laughs> don't trust buy a gun. Banks. Yeah, put your <laughs> put your money in your in your in your bed, in your mattress next to your sawed off shotgun. Exactly, Loaded. it's safer. Loaded, because it's, what's the point of an unloaded gun? You ever seen those headboards where, like, hmm. you can store a gun in them, and then, like, you just reach up and push the headboard in, and the gun falls in your hands? So it's just instant deploy of gun. That sounds awesome. What if you just, yes. like, bumped it and you're sleeping, and it just fucking owns you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess it just knocks you in the head and shoots your wife in the face. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never believe what happened, officer. <laughs> <laughs> no fingerprints on the gun. Yeah, only my skull. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I feel like you can kind of tell sometimes when a game's not going to be fully complete because they won't be talking about that much stuff. Like we had with No Man's Sky, which I know has made a complete 180 from the sounds of it and is now awesome. If you go well, look on, on Steam, um, the, you know how Steam has a whole bunch of, you know, they does the life of the game reviews and then the last three months reviews. Yeah. Um, so it went from being completely awful in the reviews to mostly good in the last three months and then mixed reviews overall. Yeah. See, yeah. And and I, speaking of no man's sky, they're getting another big update in August. Yeah. yeah. See, say what you will. He stuck to it. He could have just dug a hole and this take makes the rest like, of his life. This makes like the 10th huge update it's had. But he stuck released. to it, and then he's starting to deliver on the promises he made so long ago. Yeah. I just have to go download the game again to experience it. Yeah, this August is the one that adds like actual multiplayer. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. It's... A lot of these games, though... Um, you I can, mean, that's a perfect can... game to talk about. Yeah. You can easily tell when a game is going to be incomplete, especially when Battlefield Five was like, yeah, we're going to release our uh, one game mode, you know, like four months after we release it. Yeah. Which game mode? The, the fucking, like, Battle Royale mode God, they were the going to put Royales. in. They were like, this is going to be our huge thing, and we're going to release it, like, four months later. Battle Royale is like a disease now. It's just everyone's got it. You know, it's like chlamydia making its rounds. I mean, yeah. Except Battle Royale has shown that for a game that's free, you can still make lots of money from people. So, <coughs> yeah. So except for, well, I don't know if it counts because you have to buy the Nintendo's yeah. online subscription to play it, but Tetris 99 is free. Uh, yeah. And it doesn't nice. have any microtransactions, but nice. you have to the you have to buy sweet. the subscription to play it. Yeah. Um, and then the Battle Royale mode for uh, Battlefield Five is not going to be free. You have to own the game in order to play it. I wonder if, yeah. like, if I went to pay for, if I went to pay for Apex Legends, and I was like, yeah, I identify as someone with a five hundred dollar balance on their credit card, <laughs> <laughs> and it balanced. If they'd be like, all right, we believe you. <laughs> we'll take your word for it. We hate. We would hate to. We would hate to question that. Like that. That fucking gender i gender identity on your Twitter that we'd, says we'd rich slash millionaire <laughs> as pronouns. I love when I go in Apex Legends and it uh, assigns me the role of gender master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of drop master. Yeah, that's uh, God. That game is fun though. I, I don't. I don't dislike it. I just like to make fun of it. 
I enjoyed the time I played with Cam Cam, despite that most of it was like, I don't have a gun. <laughs> We're just running around looking for a gun for me because everyone else got the shit before me. Yeah, that's how it is for My me. My favorite too. tactic now is just to go for the high loot zone because then you're going to have a fight. And if you lose, you just get right back in. And then if you win, you have the best loot. I feel like that game's even slower than Fortnite to get right back in, though. Uh, yes. It's because you're worrying it's about, shit. like, what's going on under their clothes, you know? Like, what so the so fuck so is this person? <laughs> Now, what is he looks really? Looks like a black chick, but it also looks like a black dude. I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> is there a diff? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's the the one that really gets me is the the dude. That's I don't know if it's a dude. It's the one like all souped up. It's a gender fluid guy or the the, the blood hunter. Yeah, and I'm like they them. He How many people to are be, in these in this outfit here? He happens to be my my favorite character just because he can actually detect people, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. That's a good team And then, thing, see, I keep too. saying he because, I don't know. Cause, why? Because you're... Because um, I'm... Toxic a, masculinity. I'm toxic ma- masculinity, yeah. 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 Cameron like is dude. toxic. I mean, the dude's gender fluid, so sometimes he is a dude. Yeah, so, so I feel I mean, like it's fine. Yeah. I, I mean, what if... I don't understand the they-them thing. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to it me. It is bizarre. Am I... Like, are you two people? Yeah, like... I mean, I that's, guess you can use it it's in like a two-faced. singular way, but it just doesn't feel right. No. Other, other languages will have where you can use a word for plural to address a large group, but then it's also like the formal way to address one person. Yeah, like you you can say they have something, you know, like it, where it's less singular, but like it just... So you, we're... Using it as a person's like gender is weird. So we're we're being f- extra formal essentially maybe i don't know if that is a part of the english language as well just no, some languages have that of, it kind of is because the word if you look at the word you it can mean you or a whole you bunch all, of people yeah. yeah i don't know do you think two-face from batman was gender fluid <laughs> uh no i think he was He's personality not. fluid is what he was yeah he is two flip a coin male or female <laughs> yeah Although you gotta uh, get fucked, or you oh, gotta can you fuck. imagine Two Face? The, the Earth One ba- Re- or uh, Two Face is a chick whose uh, dark half is her twin brother. So, nice. See, I was just, I was yeah. just gonna say, could you reimagine Two Face as half male, half female? That's exactly what they did. For well, there the, you go. The Earth One. He flips a coin. If he gets male, he shoots Batman. If he gets female, he makes out with Batman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with him making out with Batman as a dude, of course. <laughs> well, it'd be a she at that point. That's true. But even you know, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, it's, like, still, it's still a dude. I, I still like. Body, I still like so, flipping yeah, a coin and then both sides going for Batman. Yeah, yeah. What if like he's like uh, put a pinky Joker in my cheek? Joker doesn't even need to flip the coin. I'll just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> thanks for the call. We can't actually hear anything, but please step out of your bomb shelter next time. Yeah, that's <laughs> our advice to you is to uh, look <laughs> at, step out of the bomb shelter many, right as the bomb's going off. Look yeah, at how, he's like, fucking How many nude bars player. you get before calling in? <laughs> <laughs> Eviscerated. Yeah, flawless victory. Should we uh, call him and leave a voicemail which just like with us being fucking <laughs> talking to him? What do you... <laughs> but she's... But jeez, what? Sleep and the then fish. what do you think? Uh, just let us know. Thanks for leaving voicemail and talk to you next time. Yeah, probably. You've never had butt cheese, Craig. It's great on a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. See, gotta expand. You gotta. So I thought you were on, uh, cracked wheat. I thought you were on the Gormond quest, Craig. <laughs> what happened to that? I had, I've never heard of butt cheese. Yeah, Quinn and Quinn goes into the one village, and he she's like, "Oh, this place no have butt cheese." Yeah, you don't remember that part? <laughs> I fucking don't. <laughs> and he's no. licking his lips like viciously, just like ravenously licking his lips. <laughs> Their lips. No, Quinn Quinn is the greatest character. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for After Dark, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Please send us your messages, complete or incomplete, to 385-204-3921. That's 385-204-3921. We'll see you guys next time. Mankind has always been the poison. 
up on yourselves and give up on the world. Every puzzle has an answer. You dumbass. Kick logic out and do the impossible. Remember that. I'm glad I met you guys. You made me pick up on things I probably would have just gone on ignoring.